Hello everyone. In my latest column for the print, I write about a new lockdown in China because of the Omicron variant. At the moment, there are about 20 million people under lockdown. The lockdown started in a city called Xi'an, which is in Shanxi province. This is an important city where you have the Terracotta Warriors and even Prime Minister Modi has been to the city. Uh, we saw almost 13 million people being put under a lockdown after a cluster of cases were discovered in the city. And at the moment, there is another lockdown in a city called Anyang in Henan province. Just to contextualize the size of this lockdown, let's compare the city of Xi'an with Wuhan. Xi'an has around 13 million people versus Wuhan has a population of 11 million. So this lockdown is definitely something that reminds a lot of people of what happened in 2022 when the whole area of Wuhan was locked down, initially the city and then the province was also locked down. And this is something that has once again reminded people of the difficulties they experienced during 2020. And it has been a tough time for people in Xi'an where People have been under a strict lockdown and they haven't been able to get enough food supplies. And people have started complaining on Chinese social media platforms, including Weibo, where they have asked the local authorities to be more proactive. And two officials have been fired from their role because of the, um, the response that the local authorities put up to the emergency that the people are facing. So the government initially announced that they will supply food to the uh, residents all across city and that response that they had in um, in connection to the covid outbreak was not exactly excellent one of the journalists named jiang shui wrote a diary which has been compared to the um, legendary diary of fang fang which was written when the wuhan lockdown was imposed this diary is very important because in this diary the journalist criticizes the response that the local authorities have presented and she has written about this whole dilemma you know between putting people under lockdown and also kind of destroying their livelihood at the same time so she's asking the question is it even worth putting so many people under a lockdown is it even worth sort of destroying the lives of people by having you know completely put them under a lockdown the third locality that has been put under a lockdown is Tianjin municipality, which is very close to Beijing, where we will see the next Winter Olympics that are coming up next month. So this whole lockdown and the kind of response that China has to COVID-19 will test the resolve of the local authorities as well as the central government in Beijing, where they're trying to make sure the Winter Olympics do happen and they happen successfully where you'll have world leaders like Vladimir Putin and even Imran Khan who will be present. So it's definitely a test for China right now to make sure the Winter Olympics do happen at the same sort of schedule that they have planned. The other major event that's coming up, that's the Chinese New Year next year. People will be traveling back to their hometowns and across China. They'll be looking to get back to family during this important um, event. That's the Chinese New Year, according to the lunar cycle. So we have another challenge for the Beijing government where they're trying to control the COVID-19 spread as well as trying to make sure the Winter Olympics happen. Based on the conversation I have with people who are present in Beijing, um, people have been told to start stocking up uh, with the supplies because there might be a new lockdown in the city itself, in the Beijing city. So if that happens, it will again kind of jeopardize the response that China has tried to present to the world that they've been very successful at curbing COVID-19. Um, the new Omicron variant spreads fast and that's again challenging. People are being asked to start stocking up on supplies so that if there is a lockdown, which is very likely because there is COVID-19 spread in Tianjin, which is very close to Beijing. So they'll have to stay at home for a month or even longer. So people are being already asked to start stocking up and preparing for a potential lockdown 